Yes, painful periods are common, but they can be agony. What really works? The hot water bottle. Research shows that heat therapy really works to reduce period pain. So using a heating pad, patch, or a good old hot water bottle is absolutely worth your while and not just an old wives' tale. Exercise. Here's the issue. There are a surprising number of studies looking into this, 12 to be precise, but the results are pretty mixed. Some say it helps, others disagree, but in the grand scheme of things, we know regular exercise is all around a good thing. So if you're thinking to give this one a go, there's no harm in trying. Painkillers. I looked at the evidence behind different types of painkillers that you can buy without a prescription. Paracetamol or Tylenol. It works really well for some, but the evidence suggests that non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, which is a mouthful and collective term that covers drugs such as ibuprofen and aspirin, are a better option. When it comes to NSAIDs, we know from a bunch of studies that these help, and plain old ibuprofen is a really great choice. But don't forget that these drugs aren't suitable for everyone, people with stomach, heart or kidney problems, and some people with asthma, to name but a few. So if you aren't familiar with this medication, speak to a pharmacist first. Contraceptives. Most have either been proven to help or come well recommended by women's health experts. So if you aren't planning a pregnancy anytime soon, it's worth discussing this option with your doctor. If you're struggling with really bad period pains, we can discuss and treat all sorts of women's health issues via video consultation. And if you need a prescription, we can get one sent to your local pharmacy.